Before you buy that RTX 4090 on Amazon, that's probably around two and a half thousand dollars. Is it worth it just to get an RTX 4080 Super? Is the performance close enough to the 4090? I won't be testing Cyberpunk and Avatar because I wanted to do an Nvidia sponsored title and an AMD sponsored title. And this is where I'm cutting it because the Cyberpunk benchmarks had to all be redone. So I've been up for around 40 hours now, so this is longer than a 24 hour review. And I'll put the original test results before the 2.11 update. I'm gonna put that at the end of the video, just to disclose that. Before we jump into the data, I was not able to get a reference model. I went to Micro Center and I got the MSI Expert Edition. It's $169 more than the regular one. I just want to disclose that, you know, if you're comparing price to performance, that this is not a reference card. The full test system's on screen now. Everything's been updated to the latest version for testing. Jumping into Cyberpunk on the ultra quality graphics preset, 1080p the RTX 4090 is 12% faster. At 1440p it's 21% faster. At 4K it's 29% faster than the RTX 4080. Now switching to Cyberpunk with DLSS on the quality preset, still no RT and still no frame gen. RTX 4090 is 2% faster than the RTX 4080 Super. And at 1440p, it's 15% faster, and at 4K, it's 22% faster than the RTX 4080 Super. Now Cyberpunk with DLSS on and RT on the medium quality preset, no frame gen. The RTX 4090 is 8% faster at 1080p, 15% faster at 1440p, and 19% faster at 4K than the RTX 4080 Super. Switching to the AMD sponsored title, Avatar Frontiers of Pandora, the RTX 4090 is 20% faster at 1080p, at 1440p it's 28% faster, and at 4K it's 34% faster than the RTX 4080 Super. Now switching with to Avatar Frontiers of Pandora with DLSS on, the fixed scaling mode, no frame gen, the RTX 4090 at 1080p is 16% faster, at 1440p it's 23% faster, and at 4K it's 31% faster. Here's a quick side-by-side -side of the ultra quality preset for Avatar, just for a nice visual representation. I'm really disappointed in the RTX 4080 Super. It's nowhere like the scenario we had with the RTX 3080 and the RTX 3090, when those cards were like 5% within the you know performance difference even like the 3080 ti was around five percent i think maybe not just the standard 3080 but i was hoping for more something like that and this is nowhere near that and it's just slightly disappointing that you're still gonna either have to save to get to a 4090 performance this really doesn't close the gap at all so it's slightly disappointing but i will be benchmarking the 7900 xtx the reference model against the 4080 Super and seeing that performance difference, but I really wanted just to see the 4090 and the RTX 4080 Super to see if we had more of like a 3080, 3080 Ti versus, you know, the 3090. And that was like, well, you shouldn't buy the 3090 anymore. That was the reason for making this video. But thanks for watching. I'm going to go get some sleep and hope to see you in the next one.